A call for understanding went out to Boston today from a southern city that has had its own rough times over the school busing issue. Ron DePaulis of Charlotte, North Carolina, station WBTV reports. When court-ordered integration came to Charlotte four years ago, it was not without disruption. West Charlotte High School used to be all black, but the court required whites to be bussed in from other neighborhoods, and during that first year, there was racial fighting and boycotts by some whites. Since then, students and community leaders have tried harder to make integration work, and the school has been relatively trouble-free. Students have been promoting school spirit and togetherness, and that movement is behind a letter-writing campaign to encourage Bostonians to give integration a chance to work. The students have sent nearly a dozen letters to the Boston Globe telling of the benefits to be gained from the experience. One student wrote, it's a hard problem at times to respect differences, but it can be done. Tina Gouge, who came up with the letter writing idea, says she was disturbed with what was happening in the Boston schools. Like we were thrown together at first, but we've learned to adjust to each other and we all get along a whole lot better. And I just got kind of concerned because they were having so much trouble. In addition to the letter writing campaign, the students say they are going to sponsor a car wash and a bake sale to raise enough money to pay for two Boston students to visit Charlotte. They say they want the Boston students to get a first-hand look at how integration is working at West Charlotte and to help them learn from the mistakes made here. This is Ron DePaulis for CBS News in Charlotte, North Carolina.